Hi, it's Yula here. Welcome. I want to show you today how to use the Yula knitter to make 48 stitches and not just 24 as the number of gates that it originally has. So we begin as always. We insert the hook into the tallest part, the highest part, and insert the hook into the gate. We are going to the right if you're right-handed and going to the left if you're left-handed pulling a stitch, one stitch through each gate. This is also an opportunity to remind you that it's recommended to use the one millimeter hook at least for the first row and to push the hook in the first row again up until the widest part of the crochet hook. So you go around pulling stitches, one stitch through each gate. And we've reached the last stitch of the first row, stitch number 24, I'm pulling a stitch. And now the magic begins. Now I'm going to go instead of into the stitch as I usually do, I go beneath, I go as if I'm pulling a new stitch. Well, I am pulling a new stitch. Through the same gate, I pull the stitch in the previous row. So the result is two st stitches popping out of the same gate here. You can see the two stitches. Now I continue going to the right again, going into the gate, pulling a new stitch instead of going into the stitch. I will go around, pull another 24 stitches, which will result in 48 stitches in total. When I finish going around the second time, I'm going to switch into a crochet hook size 0.75. It's, I find it easier. I will go into one of the stitches, pull a stitch, push it only up until the neck and not the widest part, and then going into the second stitch that's going out of the same gate. The result is again two stitches going out of the same gate. I'm moving to the right, again because I'm right-handed, pulling another two stitches. I guess you see where this is going. I'm going to go around pulling a stitch out of each stitch. This re will result in a 48 stitch piece. As you can see, take some attention to make sure I'm going into each stitch and not both of them together, but I believe it's worth the effort.
when I finish this row which was actually row number two this is how it looks like I'm going to go around pulling another row of stitches now it's really simple it's the same as you do in every other any other ISK project I just go around pull stitches Okay, now because the result is so dense and I actually want a larger diameter of work, I'm going to release now the knitted part from the Eula knitter. I do this by rotating the ring. I rotate it a whole circle until I see the spring is out like here. And now I can take off the knitted part and it's released. Now I can continue working but because I want a larger diameter I'm going to stretch it really gently going around like this. If you stretch if you stretch too strong you will lose control and it will all the stitches will be gone. Well you can give it a try once to see the result but if you go around really gently the result will be a piece with a larger diameter than the one you began with with all 48 stitches to continue working simply take your hook and continue working if you're right handed to the right, if you're left handed to the left and whatever piece you're making you can make a Eula flower, you know a really large one I'm going to continue this into making a pomegranate and a lampshade I will also update the tutorials so there will be an annex on these two tutorials how to use the Eula knitter with this exciting tip or trick or I don't know how to call it I didn't mention it but of course you can make any number of stitches between 24 and 48 as well you just don't have to add another stitch into each gate that's all for more patterns, tutorials, supply, accessories, anything that has to do with wire crochet and the invisible spool knitting, visit my website at www.euladesign.com. Bye!